where now we got officially the number one team in the nation. I've been saying it damn near all season. Georgia, number one in the country, both polls. With Alabama losing to Texas A&M, the only two undefeated teams in the SEC meeting this weekend in Athens as Kentucky, Red Hot Kentucky, comes to town to face these Georgia Bulldogs. And I don't want to say pressure's on Georgia because, uh, you know, heavy, heavy favorite, favorite to now in my mind win the SEC, win the national championship like I've been saying all along. But uh, with Alabama going down, more and more people jumping on the Georgia bandwagon. How does that affect this team? We've not seen any letdown from Kirby Smart and the Bulldogs this season. Not thinking we're going to get much of it in this one either. And I know, obviously, JT Daniels probably not going to suit up in this game. Stetson Bennett's been looking better and better as he as the season comes along, as he has had to assume starting role there back in Athens once again. And I think that's the only way Georgia loses this game is if somehow Stetson Bennett, the bad Bennett, if you want to call it, resurfaces from last season where we have turnovers and you know can't push the ball down the field, getting the passes batted down at the line of scrimmage like we saw against Alabama. And hell, even if you want to go back to uh, the Florida game, Georgia started hot in that one, injuries, and then the defense kind of, caved and we ain't seeing that from this Georgia Bulldogs defense this season so we've been in this spot before the Arkansas game had so much hype college game day of course was in town now they're coming back for the Kentucky matchup along with SEC Nation it's been a while since both of those pregame shows have been in the same location but that just gives you an idea of how big this game will be but make no mistake, I mean, I know Georgia, we're all sitting here telling them they're the greatest defense ever been told. <laughs> I ain't buying that quite yet. I do think they're the best defense in the country based on what we've seen thus far. But they're going to be really tested here with a Kentucky offensive line. Chris Rodriguez is heating up. Cavassier Smoke just had his best game. Double-headed monster there at running back for Kentucky. And Will Levis, I know he's been throwing too many interceptions for my liking this year, but... Last week against LSU, this was his best game to date. So there's a lot to like about the Kentucky Wildcats heading into this matchup. And how will Georgia respond now that uh, they are officially number one in the polls? That's something Kirby Smart addressed along with Kentucky's offensive line, how outstanding that group is. And once again, Kirby challenging the fans to show up like you did when we needed you the most against Arkansas, they were huge in that game. Arguably the difference, if you want to say getting Arkansas in a hole, they could not climb out of. A lot of that had to do with the outstanding home field advantage there in Athens, something Kirby addressed on Monday. Kirby, I got a feeling I know the answer to this, but I got to ask it anyway. I mean, it isn't – you guys are number one. I mean, this is a plateau of sorts, and I know it's where you finish, but do you take any satisfaction or allow yourself a moment to – you know, appreciate where you've built the program in your time here? It's just a number, right? I mean, I don't see a plateau. There's not a whole lot of different plateau. The goal is to be uh, number one at the end of the season. You always know that. Everybody's goal is there. But to, to have an opportunity to do that, you got to be in the four. And that's the most critical part. So we won't get caught up in that, and we'll let you guys write about it. And that's not a burden we carry burden we carry is how we play. Coach, I want to ask you about uh, Kentucky's offensive line. Is this the best offensive line you guys have faced to date? Yeah, for sure. They've got, uh, uh, I think, four draftable prospects. Guys going to go high in their tackle. Transfer tackles, really good player. Center's a really good player. Fordner. I mean, they, they've always had a good offensive line. But they had a good offensive line last year. And I think four of the five or three of the five are back. And then the transfer from LSU – is a really good player. So, Kennard's one of the fit, most physical guys we've ever played against. He is huge, uh, long arms. Uh, they, they, they're committed to the run game and what they do. Uh, very physical and really good team. And I think, you know, people don't understand that because they look at them last year and, you know, they didn't have a lot of the same weapons in the pass game. The quarterback wasn't uh, a thrower like this guy is. And they, they got a really good team. So, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of respect for how they play. 
Kirby, you challenged the fans before the Arkansas game to, to show out at noon, and I, I, I think it's safe to say that that was effective and they were really loud. Do you have anything you want to say to them this week? I mean, yeah, it's always the case, right? I think this game speaks for itself, what it means, who we're playing, uh, what the rankings are, what's at stake, you know, when you talk about the East. So I, I think our, our fans are educated enough to know the, the importance of this one and their impact could be the difference in the game. And I don't think sometimes they acknowledge that because they think that, you know, everything's going to be easy and it's going to be home. And you, you can't you can't think that way. You can't be apathetic as a fan and think that, oh, well, you know, we're Georgia. That, that's not the case because this is a high, high-quality football team and we need the extra advantage of playing at home just like we had to go up against it last week uh, going to Auburn. So we need that same advantage this week.